Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So we finally have news and update on Gladiator and Iron Man balance. So despite Kabam saying that they are absolutely proud of their smurf, as in the Gladiator, the emotionally needy man baby that is one of the, if not the most useless addition to the game in 2023, well, it turns out they might not be as proud of Gladiator as they might have indicated in their last stream. So, let's talk about it. Right, so the balance teams here again with an update on the latest round of champions up for review, Gladiator and Iron Man. So, we're going to be discussing the chat Iron Man and the CC Gladiator. As the Summoner's Choice champion, many people were, and here is the key word, were excited to see Gladiator. Now, nobody is excited to see Gladiator as one of the polls. I Trust me, I know, I have the 7 star and he's useless. <laughs> Join the contest. He was geared towards being a fun and effective attacker with a couple of defensive tricks if you block those pesky special twos. Yeah, well, see how that worked out. After reviewing his performance, lies, lies, and more lies, they could not have reviewed his performance because nobody plays him. They probably had a sample data of like five people playing Lady in more than two fights. Whatever. After reviewing his performance, limited as such as it might have been, we're seeing that Gladiator has come up short of his goals. And that is such an understatement. Gladiator is quite literally one of the two worst champions, for sure. Probably the worst champion of the year. <laughs> well, he's a little bit short of his goals. He's a lot more than short of his goals. He, he wouldn't see his goal if it hit him in a, on the head with a frying pan. I swear to God. Oh my God. Okay, so we do not have more details, though. That kind of sucks. Because normally, they do let us know... A bit more about you know what they disliked with gladiator uh or what they disliked with the buff champion and where they look to improve this champion this time around we get a very brief line this means that gladiator will go through rebalance process the goal of this rebalance is to increase his damage floor with an easier and more consistent ramp and uh, to allow him live at his damage ceiling longer once he's ramped. Now, here's going to be the problem. It's not his main problem. Like, his damage isn't even that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. The problem is that his entire extra damage mechanic during special attacks just doesn't work because you still take like 20% of the damage even with that mechanic like being active when you are trying to do the burst so that just doesn't work this is like shit mechanic and then on top of it all as worked like there's just no good reason to use gladiator pretty much ever like he matches up horribly with almost all the meaningful champions and he, he need i don't even know like here's the deal this sounds like a minor tune-up and I don't think that will help. I'm going to be happy to be wrong. It could be a major tune-up in the, if they significantly increase his damage output. He could be all right. But in general, like, yeah, minor tune-up will not help the Gladiator situation. And by the sounds of it, this could be another Danny Moonstar situation. Where, you know, they're going to give him, what, two more seconds and incinerates and cold snaps. And, you know, make him ramp up slightly quicker. And that's going to be it. And nobody's still going to play him. I really hope that's not the case. I really, truly do hope that is not the case. Because, I mean, this is embarrassing. And if Kabam doesn't make him significantly better, it will even more so be embarrassing. Because Gladiator is going to be brought up since his release till the eternity, unless he becomes a good champion. Because everybody will always... Bring it up whenever Summoner's Choice Champions will be discussed. Everybody will always bring it up whenever 2023 Champions will be discussed. Everybody, you know, is using him as a meme. And unless he becomes, like, good, good, like, significantly better, you know, he's still going to be looked at as a meme and, like, a major stain on Kabam's, you know, uh, Summoner's Choice. 
that's you know just the way it is so i, I do hope that his rebalance is more major than it sounds in regards to iron man the revamp suit came with potent upgrades aimed at upgrading his damage countering some of the more annoying mutant defenders out there while also keeping the tools of his old suit in his arc overload and armor breaks so far we're happy with how he's performed across the battle realm especially as an efficient attacker and past six of alliance war no changes in coming to iron man i think that's fair enough i think iron man is a solid champion nothing too op nothing you know awful i think he's decent um and what's next gladiator tune-up and this is how his timeline is going to look like so february march is going to be his beta builds and april we're going to have full release with the changes no additional buffs or tune-ups or anything like that and normally I, I would say that i dislike that that it feels yet again that you know they're taking the easy way out and they're being quite lazy with it because you know we should be seeing more tune-ups it is still extremely unfortunate and you know quite poor from kabam's part with what they have done to buff program or balance program and how they are just consistently you know tuning up less and less champions. like 2023 was by far the worst year when it comes to champion you know buffs and uh stuff like that this time around though I'm gonna be okay with it. I'm not even gonna make sarcastic snade comments about Kabam being lazy in this because they definitely do have their job cut out with Gladiator. They somehow need to turn that useless, emotionally needy alien man baby into, you know, a respectable champion, which is no easy feat. Uh considering his half of his hit just being awful. And that said you know this time i'm perfectly fine you know you know what don't buff anything else just just focus put on the best man for the job to buff the gladiator right we need somebody with sheer willpower sheer focus a, a man of great talent to sort this mess out because uh he will have his work cut out for him and then and then, like, I, and here's the thing. A lot of people think I like, you know, when Kabam messes up or something like that. I don't. I really, I would like Lady to be a good champion. But I'm, again, going to be very, very real with this situation. Unless Kabam does majorly improve him, he's going to live as a meme and as a stain of Summoner's Choice champions, period. Stuff like that will inevitably, you know, it's one of those things that just kind of disappoints and discourages people getting excited for the future events or... Even voting about the champions in Summoner's Choice, like, if they possibly would release a champion as bad as a Gladiator, which is your favorite champion, you're going to be kind of, like, less inclined to vote for that champion, even, to a degree. Because you wouldn't want, you know, your favorite champion added to the game as a meme. And whilst, obviously, that will never be Kabam's goal, I don't think it would be, and I don't think they did it intentional. And whilst it might not be the most, you know, logical... Uh, Kind of like leap of faith that thought is already in the voice of communities i hear it from the people in my comment section we're saying that i don't want to vote for this champion because i don't want Kabam them to add and be trash or something like that and uh i can kind of understand that to a degree as well because i really wanted jubilee added a while back to the game and once jubilee was added i wish she never was because she's relatively crap you know and i kind of get it for sure uh so, so yeah glady is getting a buff i will eagerly await more details checking out what they're gonna do with lady because again i do not think minor tune-ups will help him i think that entire extra damage mechanics during special attacks either needs to be completely replaced replaced with something else or or you need to be having 100% attack reduction on top of some sort of immunity or like to damaging debuffs and or debuffs in general during that special because again hitting those special attacks to the face with the gladiator you just can't do it against the most champions period you just cannot really do it because you're gonna get the bleeds placed on you you're gonna get all the debuffs or stuns or something like that and then you're gonna get wrecked so i don't know uh but even with all that other stuff that, you know, he would stop, even if he does, 
20% damage still, you know, makes it just unfeasible mechanic to use in any competitive scenario because you're never going to be eating a special attack with intention to still, you know, take significant amount of damage, especially if there's some random crit in that. So, and I really hope they do a good job. I truly do. I, I, I would love for Gladiator to be a good champion. But will he? Who knows? Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to catch you soon. Bye-bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about